Hello and welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay playthrough playing as Emir al Kaya of the Al Mazati Emirate. Um, this is our new wife, Emira Sajida of Al Mazati. She is lowborn, but she has really high stewardship, so we went for for her to help manage our domain. Um, I'm just going to have a look at what this is. So, arrange betrothal, send our Emir. Okay, the Emir of H Hawara, he wants an alliance with us. Um, we're not going to go for it. He wants to marry. It would make sense, but we're going to probably going to go for them to, in this episode. So we're not going to we're going to decline this marriage proposal. It's between his son. Oh, between the, one of his courts. Let's see. His brother and our daughter. We're not going to accept. Um, just simply because there are. They're in our way. They're our next target. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go for for them in this in this episode. I think we have a truce with them at the moment. We do. Uh, we do have a truce. Yeah. So for now, we're going to just to designate a guardian for Al Kaya Junior. Um. He's not intelligent, but he's got really good traits. Wow, diligent, temperate, and brave. But no, we're not gonna educate him. Um, with him, it will be someone outside the realm. With hopefully genius. No. In that case, we're gonna go for intelligent. And have a look here. So the options, this guy would be great, but he's not um, landed, he's wandering, he's a spy master, so he could do it, lustful, cynical and wrathful, skill tactician, um, so got a few options here uh, who's got high learning this guy and we can't we can't um, send him to educate our Kaya so I think I'm gonna go with just having a look here yeah I'm gonna go with um, maybe Abba this guy yeah, he can do it, so he's going to educate al -Kaya. We've got low control in three counties, so let's increase our control in Tripolitana. Okay. And we're going to let time tick by. See, let's have a look at the world. So France has kind of imploded. Must have had a, a war. Yo Hastine has um, taken over pretty much all of England. Spain okay so a few changes here and there but someone's plotting to kill Yakta alright 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 Okay, so Dionysos has taught um, Marwan the Sudanic language. To put, to put on an act, an overheard whisper and the sharp glare of the final pieces 
that would make the puzzle fall into place. My guest Kala is more well versed in the art of intrigue than she would have, have everyone believe. To know there is a woman like that at court makes me rather nervous. However, I might learn a lot if I can tr get her to trust me. So I can potentially gain a intrigue lifestyle perk. Or I can gain more vigilant. Gain a bit of intrigue for five years and hostile scheme resistance. Let's just go along with this and say I'll convince her that we are cut from the same cloth. Kala. She's got very high intrigue. It takes many days, but at lo long last, I coincidentally stumble upon Kala while she is alone. Lady Kala, I've been meaning to. She says, if you walked into a room to find your spouse yelling at a young page for dropping a plate, what would you do? Is she testing me? Th maybe this is my opportunity to convince her that we have a lot in common. She's greedy and craven and deceitful. So she, we could say, he'd be punished, forgive them, or they would both have to tell me what happened. He'd be punished. She's not the most uh, honourable person. Hmm, she pauses, grimacing as if she's tasting something sour before continuing. In the middle of a march to battle, just as you are setting up camp, an officer approaches you to ask what should be done with a spy that has been caught. A spy, no matter, we march on. I would ask the officer to take care of it and leave me alone. Or obviously the spy has some answers to give in time. We're a torturer, so we... We'd uh, do this one. I think she'd probably. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking for here, but I'm gonna go for this one. She nods to herself before painting the next scenario. You make a decision, say that all taxes in the county will be raised, and it comes to your attention that one of your vassals openly questions that decision. How do you react? No one, question, no one questions me like that. I would confront the vassal. If my vassal thinks it's a bad decision, then it probably is. Or a difference in opinion should be solved by discussion. I'd confront the vassal. I would. She frowns and takes a step back. I would appreciate it if you did not approach me regarding this again. Before I have time to respond, she has already started moving down the hallway, every step cloaking her further in shadow. She sure is a mystery, and we gain learning to read people. Hostile scheme power for three years. We didn't get an intrigue lifestyle perk. Oh well. I've been thinking, do we want to change this, or do we want to go all the way to, to get schema? I mean, thing is, we could go for martial or even stewardship and try and get more money, but I don't know. I don't know what's best at the moment. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any feedback on that. Up to 101 gold, that's good. Dina has given birth to a son. I'm gonna name him Alkaya. Is he albino? He's albino. Is she she's not. Okay. So we might be playing as Alkaya, the albino. Um, at some point. He didn't inherit any other traits. Not that he had any traits to pass down. To here does. Yeah. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is Barkham the brute has died from being ill. The map. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Yeah, someone's scheming. Um, we're gonna keep this on disrupt schemes because. Yeah, um, I don't want to risk being um, murdered just yet. He's not impressive at all, so I'm gonna let him go. Not um, not gonna recruit him. 
Um, can we... Do we have any better options for Spy Master? We have our wife. She doesn't like us as much as our current Spy Master. And they've got the same um, intrigue level. So, yeah, be alright. Some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Sajida when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. So, here, I can go for... Um, I don't know what happened to the music there. I'll just uh, let me have a look. Okay, that's working now. Can we lower it again? No. All right. Have slightly higher music for now. Um, some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. Blo I've read this out, so who who are we going to try and improve? Um, we could give Amazus a boost for 15 years. Mm. Mufti, Steward, or we can lay with her. Um, we haven't had a child from her yet, so we could lay with her. Um, or we could get improve our Mufti. Learning plus three. Uh, that'd be good, but it's only temporary. It's fifteen years. I mean, he's fifty-two, so that'd probably be for the rest of his life. Um. I think I'm going to go for this one, let's let her lay with her. Maybe get another baby. Rumours about Tahir. Those foul rumours about your, your son, Tahir. I have traced them to the source. My spy master Abdul packs a bundle of letters. The letters prove that Kukung has been trying to drag Tahir's name through the mud. He mocks Tahir's character accusing him of shocking simple behaviour. Do people seriously think they can talk about my son like this? So, who's Kukun? Kukun is our courtier. Alright. Blanket of fear. So we can spread even darker rumours about him so that everyone fears us. Dread gain. Uh, get some life lifestyle experience. Uh, find some ruffians, and then we lose money. But um, we could get cocoon beaten up by some ruffians. Uh, these ones stress us out because I think because we're greedy. Um, I'm brave, so we're not going to do that. I think let's go for blanket of fear. It's only five years, but. Red gains good. All right. They believe and tremble. But hack comes of age. Again, not a great uh, education. She's also a homosexual. Um, okay, so I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child but as an adult. Despite being a curious child, eager to learn, her attention drifted elsewhere. She grew older. Yep. Not not great, but. Uh, we're gonna marry her off. Let's see what our options are. Tangiers. 600 men. They'd be good. They would be good. Okay. You can take Bahak. Um, so I think in our, in our faith, when you have level three um, of l the learning on the learning tree, um so not insightful thinker but the next one up 
it's uh it's like a virtue yeah it's, it's a virtue to our religion um in our religion so a bodyism yeah make, uh, makes the following traits virtues astute intellectual mastermind philosopher and scholar um so it would be good to get a i mean who's doing learning is Marwan, he's doing Marshall. And Al Qaeda is doing Marshall. Yeah, so we had one son doing learning and he didn't achieve that. Which and yeah, he's not he's not the best. Um in fact I'm gonna look at our knights. I was gonna say we could force him to be a knight, but we've got way better knights. Actually not way better, we just have I'm gonna force to here to serve um, because also I'm worried that he might be he might scheme like against uh, Al Mazuz, Al Mazuz. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll make him you know fight and uh, he might <laughs> he might fall in battle potentially. I mean, you know we're um, we're thinking of the future. You know, this is role play, but my character Al Kaya, he's, you know, he's not. He was disappointed with it, with Tahir, and he's, um, you know, his his brother. I mean, Tahir has bet has good intrigue. He's got decent learning compared to Amazus. I wouldn't mind playing as either of them. They've got the same diplomacy. He's got way better martial though. And we, you know we're we're in wars all the time, so we're gonna untick, uh, let time tick by, and um, we're gonna unlock a new perk. We love for digging for dirt. Lovely, got a new alliance. Yeah, so we'll be going for the. Hawara Emirate next again. Um, wonder how long the truce is for. The three years, okay. Three years to build up our uh, our, tre our treasury and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put the music down a little bit because it's quite loud. Um, yeah, there we go. Too scared to speak his mind. What a wise decision, my liege. My son and heir, Amazu, smiles nervously and bobs his head at me like a pigeon. Truly, I have nothing to add. Amazu fears me too much to contradict my, deci my decisions. It makes him rather useless as a marshal. Perfect, they should fear me. And they, yeah, we don't want this. I'll do your job myself, you fool. He becomes our rival. We gain Marshall and we fire him. Speak your mind freely. The position is safe. Uh, that, that, this, this is what we're going to do 100% because uh, it's an intrigue challenge. Um, he gains two Marshall, an extra two Marshall for 10 years. And 15 opinion of us, we still get 100 lifestyle experience, so we're gonna go for that one. Great, okay. Increasing development, so what's our development now? Five. It's gone up. It was three at the beginning, so it's gone up by two. Um, I think increasing development also helps increase development in the surrounding. Although it's still three, but um, in surrounding provinces. So we're going to keep on increasing the development in theatre. 
and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, one thing I'm concerned about is that if we did take the Hawara Hawara uh, Emirate, so. We'd need two counties to do that. Um, that would potentially mean that succession, in succession, um, to here might inherit that whole duchy and they'd be separate to us, uh, which we don't want. But we could always go to war with him uh, for our claims and take it back and then continue expanding this way uh west but yeah it's uh food for thought not sure what will happen there ninth of december 1890 uh, 890 so another two years and a bit, two and a half years, until we can declare war on them. That's fine. We should um, should maybe invest in our men at arms or in another daughter to come of age. She's an astute intellectual, and another daughter has come of age, and she's charismatic negotiator so they've done better in their educations um, okay so we've got two daughters we can marry off now are we gonna go for we can get another alliance with them but they've got basically no troops. Um, this is a chieftain. All right, they've got. Oh, the rally to them. Wagla, yeah. Um, Sheikdom allied to us. Sheik. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead is bring in a knight. Um, we're gonna obviously not marry our daughters off to lowborn, uh, to commoners. We're going to go for, um, you know, people with dynasties, uh, people who are landed. So he's got 21 uh, prowess. He'd be great. He's got really high martial as well. He's a, C a military engineer, aspiring blade master, brave, compassionate, ambitious, great. Uh, and our other daughter. I mean, we could look for some traits, maybe. Let's see. And then sort by prowess. Quick. Handsome. Hail. We want quick. We want to. We want to get um, intelligence into our. He's got sixteen prowess. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna go for Bahe. Um, we'll have to convert both both of them when they come to our court. But yeah, um, yeah, we want we want to get more, uh, in, you know, quick genius and, or intelligent people into our into our family. Um, also, having them at court is helpful to when you want to educate your children. You don't have to send them away to foreign courts. That's let these be accepted. All right. Demand conversion. He will accept. And this guy as well. Demand conversion. He will accept. Lovely. So welcome to a Bardism. And we've unlocked a dyna dynasty legacy. So. Maybe noble veins. Um, it's typical, but you know we want to get the congenital traits. 
I'm not I'm not particularly interested in going down the uh, the new tree. I can you know at some point I might unlock one of these or uh, this one or go to the next one as well. But for now, I think noble veins and uh, we can improve our chances of inheriting good congenital traits, which is what we're looking for. So go for that. Religious ecstasy. I'm sitting in the mosque, my thoughts abandoning the words of Mufti Uguistan in favour of the time I tumbled with Sajida. Is that our wife? Ever since then I've been thinking of her almost daily. Unfortunately this is some having some rather noticeable side effects. Perhaps if I position the Quran just right I can hide this growing problem without anyone noticing. Wow, okay. So we can start a seduce scheme and do that. I don't know what the chances all right 95 percent we've got similar traits on so brave we're both brave so that would probably help um yeah we're gonna seduce our wife our primary wife and that would be probably you know bring more children in but can't have too many children we've got 10 now amorous understanding in my pursuit of Amira Sajida's affection, it would be very useful, helpful to uh, know exactly what our tastes and preferences are. So I could convince her to tell me, gain stress because I'm shy and it would be very successful. Spies, or you know what, I'm just going to ask. Diplomatic practice, we gained one diplomacy for five years. I mean, yeah, we've got terrible diplomacy. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to ask. Okay, it's come up again. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the same one. And we, di we didn't gain um, diplomatic practice twice, unfortunately. A scheme at court. Someone's trying to kill Dara. She's... Uh, it's fine. Amorous understanding. In my pursuit of Amira Sajida's affection, it would be very helpful to know what was it come up again. Okay, we'll do this. Our daughter in law Sina has given birth to a son. So call him Isley. He's uh Am Amazuz's second son. Lovely. Welcome to the world, young young man. Uh, this is this is like the fourth time it's come up now. Bajilla has come of age. She's not done too too good for herself, um, education wise, but she's humble, diligent, and forgiving. She's got pretty good diplomacy. Okay. Let's see. We don't need uh, an alliance with this guy. He's and we've got we've got a lot of alliances already. Um so as I said before we're gonna we're going to go for traits, prowess, and he's in t uh, he's quick, and he's got eleven prowess, so not not particularly um, amazing. But we're gonna go for him because he's landed. Okay, this marriage has been accepted. How long until we can declare war here? Sure, it's easy if I check. Okay, uh, se 17 months. My beloved wife, and she's become our lover. Amazing, 
amazing. She's 29. She's got. She hasn't had any children yet. She's low born, so can't see her family. You know, like her uh, children, uh, the parents. We get a weak hook on this guy of Hawara Emirate. We don't really need it. Um, gonna go for kidnapper. Great. Uh, we can kidnap people now, but I don't know who we want to kidnap. Um, so this guy from Fizan wants to marry into our family, marry one of our daughters, Talalit. Um, I mean, I could accept this. I'm not planning on going into Fizan again, um, since they're tribal. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go for yeah. We'll accept we'll accept that alliance. So, there's not a lot in the, happening in this episode, we just kind of, look, we're up to 200 gold now, um, yeah, we just kind of, we, c we can probably improve the trade port soon, uh, I think it was 225, oh, we've had a son <laughs> with Sajida, so that's going to make succession even more interesting, Malau, hello Malau. No longer have a court tutor, so let's go and find the court tutor. He'd be good. Point him. Okay. Um, Amir. Amir Akoreko. His friendship. Uh, while his numerous attempts to carry my favour have not gone unnoticed, I cannot uh, feel. But irritated by Amir Koroko, sudden interest in me. Can you not leave me in peace? Or I never want to see his face again. So this is the guy from the Hawara Emirate. He's desperate for us to not invade, but I think we got, we are going to invade. Zedian has come of age. Okay, not the best education again. Could uh, could have been better, but she has got the trait. So we're going to matrilineally, matrilineally marry her off. Um, okay, this is this is interesting. So we haven't got any options uh, with the you know we haven't got quick or intelligent. Um, we do, but they're low born. So we we're not going to accept that. Uh, so let's go for prestige gain. We really don't have a lot of options for our daughter here. Um, so prestige gain. We've got this gentleman. He's handsome. Egyptian. Um, he's arrogant. Sadistic and gluttonous. Uh, but he's also a pilgrim. and Yep. He's got really good uh, intrigue. And uh, yeah. They'll, they'll bring him into our court. He's got 11 prowess. So... He can uh, be a backup for night in case in case we need him. Um, this is gonna demand conversion here. Oh, she's at a foreign court, and she's been converted to a shah a shahism. So yeah, just getting our everyone converted in our that's in our court. To the implacable Al Kaya, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Great. Excellent. Ok, 
Okay. Can we declare war yet? Let's see. Six months. Nicknamed the Greedy. <laughs> We're now known as Amir Al Qaeda the Greedy. We lose prestige because of that. We need prestige as well. It's not not um not great, but okay. At least we got a nickname. Don't always get a nickname. Now known as the Greedy. Every nook and cranny. The Dark Knight can make truly make the shadows in my castles always come alive. The perceived risk of unsanctioned visitors rise even higher for every unguarded corner spotted. If I alone can see this many faults, imagine what more people with a similar perspective could do. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, we, port level plus one, garrison size. Yeah, we, we're not going to lose uh, gold because we are greedy. So... Alright, go for that. Okay, um, to the loathsome Emir Al Qaeda, we've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We're done paying your, your taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you'll wish you treated us more fairly. So we're not gonna grant them a tax, tax lien. Lien. Um, we're gonna fight them. Rally the troops. Okay. Let's move our men of arms. Uh, not our men of arms. Uh, I mean, we, to be fair, we could probably just use the men of arms to do this. Yep, three hundred men. Navid the Kurdish, who's our son-in-law, I think. Um. Uh, yep, command the army. And we've taken the leader. Is he any good? He's decent. Yeah, he's got 13 prowess and decent martial. He's stupid though. Um, so I don't I don't really think we want him. We're going to Gain some dark, try and gain some dark insights. Torture him. Oh, the sweet kiss of the whip. It might look innocent, but it can separate flesh from bones just as well as any knife. A truth Muiz is soon to experience. He will be sleeping on his stomach for quite some time. It had to be done. Okay. We can disband. Alright, and now we can I believe upgrade our uh, we don't have um innovation the crop rotation innovation so we can't improve that can we improve this what do we need for that barracks okay so the beginning of the game is a lot you can't you can't do can, you know you can't build um, stuff you have to slowly and gradually kind of unlock stuff um thing is because we're losing these to our brothers uh in next generation we not don't particularly want to invest in them um so we could invest in our men at arms with all this money we've got uh haven't got on on goods yet but uh how about some more horsemen yeah, that'll do for now. I'm gonna keep tick, uh, ticking up the m our money. Um, we are greedy after all, so we want to have a bit in the bank. Um, can we declare war? We can. So we're gonna conquer the final county. Where are 
their troops? Have they got any troops? 50 men. We've got 50 soldiers. Haven't even raised them as far as I can see. Someone's plotting to kill my son-in-law Bahir. informant my spy master abdul rushes into the room and hands me an anonymous letter he's just received it appears we have a unique opportunity to acquire information about emir abbas's defense strategies the letter reads if you desire information about abbas's defenses have your spy master abdul meet me in tripolitana within a fortnight bring plenty of gold so i'm not going to spend gold on this nothing but extortion And uh, we just need four more months. We'll speed time up a little bit. Talalit has become of age and she's a mastermind philosopher. Well, wow. okay. Um, she's leaving our court, unfortunately. But yeah, she's got um, the highest uh, education you can get. So, well done, daughter. Okay, we took him hostage. What we're gonna do is ransom him for 31 gold. And then enforce our demands. We can invite him to court. He's He wouldn't be much use, but you know what, he'd be Be a good chancellor. And I'm guessing that it would make it, you know, his family would come with him. My spy master has come to me with a discovery, certain that my son in law, Abdul Majid, is scheming against my son in law, but here. So. Whether it's true or not, I'm not gonna exp I'm not gonna accuse him. Um, I mean, he shouldn't be. They shouldn't be fight infighting. But I guess he's a treacherous villain, same as uh, Itij, who we murdered for killing our wife. Uh, treacherous villain. So I'm not gonna accuse him, but. My Didu has died. He was our steward. Okay, we can get a, be a better steward here, so we'll put him in. But here, so we definitely don't want him dead. Um, Naib and Meskar, he's. Is he a. Yeah, he's a powerful vessel. Don't really want to upset him. Um. Okay, we've got two. We've got this temple holding. We can grant to someone. We can grant it to Tahir, potentially. Um, just a noble of the Butra culture. We've got the temple holding. So we've got a new. Vassal and he's great. He's got 16 martial, 13 prowess. Uh, and then what we're going to do as well is give away Zawilla. Give that to, I'll give it to Tahir potentially. Um, would that mean that he doesn't inherit anything else? I'm not sure. Um, you know what, I'll give it to who's meant to inherit it. See, Tahir's going to get the Duchy of Tripolitana. Tripolit... Yeah, whatever you, however you say it. Um, so, Zawila will go to Melau, the youngest, our youngest son. Um, I'll give it to one of my... Give this to one of my son-in-laws. So, let's have a look. Is he impressive? He is impressive. 
give him Zawilla. Great. So we're now five out of five. Um, how far away are we from creating the kingdom? This is what I'm usurping the kingdom even. So we need two duchy titles. Uh, we need to, because they consider our faith to be hostile, we need to take all of their land. So that's not great. Um, we only have 5 of 11 required counties. We need 500 gold. It's going to be really difficult. Um, but, uh, yeah. What I could do is, let's have a look again. So here he's going to inherit Tripoli and Zuwara. So Labda will be inherited by Alkaya, and that will be within our duchy. So these three counties I can build up, I guess, and we'll get more uh, income because of that. So what do we want? Desert agriculture and inward dan we've already got small plantation we can't upgrade it we're just we're going to start really slow here uh, because we're just limited to what we can do but yeah thank you for watching uh, this will be the final episode for about a week or um a week to 10 days i'm not too too sure when i'll be back but uh yeah thank you for watching it's been um it's been a fun episode for me playing hope you've enjoyed it as well please remember to like comment and subscribe um it's uh really appreciated when you do uh and um yeah share it with your friends and your family <laughs> um and yeah uh we'll, i'll be Looking forward to coming back to play as Al Kaya the Greedy uh, very soon. But for now, goodbye and thank you for watching.